you do not become uh my disciple just because you have been listening to me in youtube or listening to me through my satellite tv program even if you got a mantra from me you do not have the eligibility to call yourself my disciple if you are not following the discipline what i am teaching so i am going to forbid you don't say this to me correct you can say i have known you from long time i have been listening to you from long time but i am such an idiot person i have not actuated whatever you speak i would really love this sincerity and honesty on your part but don't put this claim that you are my disciple you do not become disciple just because you have a, my nice photograph in your drawing room or my nice photograph in a locket in your you know hanging in your in your neck in a mala you do not become my disciple just because you heard few discourses you only become my disciple when you follow the discipline and when you have the fire of true love in you and if you don't have that you should better say i am trying to be your disciple and i am feeling it big time but i am trying and i wish to try more with the more sincerity i'll be really happy if you say so so don't put this label that you are my disciple no i won't permit that i'm going to be very harsh on you yeah but if if you if you are sincere and if you are trying to do don't be boastful don't be boastful just be humble and say i'm trying to be a good disciple i am hoping to be one day a good disciple don't put this label on you that you already are you do not become like that once uh, someone said well i have lived in this ashram for last 10 years i said so how does that changes there are cows who have been living here from last 10 12 years there are trees who are here since i was i came here that 20 years old 23 years old and right in the ashram gate is the people tree which which i had roped in in year 1998 that is the oldest companion if i have to say but that people tree is not making any claim that's not a, i have been living in ashram for so long i said then the pluto and maxwell seven years you are here from less less like four years they have been said so they are elder to you you should do namaste and pranam to them all they are senior to you and they are not claiming that how dare you claim it so just listening i am sachidanand is not enough what is important is this body identification has to be eradicated has to be broken has to be destroyed this body is not me neither it's mine this body is ownership is with the five elements the five elements ownership is with maya the maya's ownership is with ishwara how can i say this this is a like a rented property and you are claiming it's yours it's a sheer crime to put your claim on to that which you do not have any legal right so the five basic elements have the right maya has the right ishwara has the right not you so i am sachidanand listening this much is not enough i am not this body mind constituent this has to be understood and realized this is more important okay one small story of my childhood um when when i used to be in this satsang there was this one girl who was younger to me at least 3 years i if i'm not wrong 3 or 2 somewhere in between so um mata ji would say again and again these biological parents are not your real parent only god is your parent we belong to god god belongs to us 
This body is not to me, not to mine. We only um, belong to God, nobody else. So she would make us repeat many times, who is our father? And we would say, God is our father. Who is our mother? God is my mother. I am not this body. I am not this body. I am not this body. This girl's father was an army man. He came on um, holiday back home and he enters house and he called her, uh, come here dear daughter. And she said, I am not your daughter. God is my father. She, she never said this actually at that time verbally. She just shouted loud back, I am not your daughter. And he got so angry. He held his wife's neck and said, Who is father of this girl? And she said, Why are you saying this? He said, she said it. What's the truth you tell me? I, I was away. And then he started recollecting that this happened, that and who is the real father? She then said, please sit down, have a glass of water, let me explain. And then she said that the satsang is happening and the Mataji was saying that we are not body and this biological father and mother is of the body, but I am not body, hence they are not your parent, God is your parent. I said, okay. He said, it's good that in time you have explained it. Otherwise, I had my loaded gun with me. I would have killed all of you. You know, this strong understanding was roped into us. Who are you? What's your name? And we would reply, the name of body is this. And who are you then? If this is the people would then what but is speaking? Then who are you? I'm Satchidan. What? And then we also knew this that those who haven't heard satsang, they will not understand it. And then we would say, You won't understand. <laughs> it's like smearing salt on the wound of a person <laughs> who is elder and senior age wise. And we are saying, You won't get it. Leave it. Just imagine <laughs> what they would be feeling. And here we are, 12 years old, you know, girl who is giving this kind of answer. But the clarity has to be there. So how are you? The answer correct was, which she gave to me, body is healthy, Mind is quiet and I am Satchitanan. Wonderful. If this is the kind of understanding, then there is no chance that a person will get lost in the world and the worldly matters. <laughs>